everybody, my name is Shazanae and today I am filming my June favorites. I know I'm a little bit late because it's already July 5th and I usually like to get it out at the very end of June, but I'm not too, too late. But I have a ton of products to show you guys today. I also have a YouTuber, I have a pin from Pinterest, and I have two unfavorites. So there's a lot to show you guys today, so I'm just going to jump right into my favorites for the month. So I have some hair products, I have some beauty products, I have some miscellaneous products. What do I start with? I have no idea. I guess I'll start with the hair products. So I have two styling uh, hair products to show you. The first one um, is relatively new and it's my newbie, new me wand set. It comes with five interchangeable wands and I have absolutely been loving this set and I've been using mostly the biggest barrel, sometimes the medium sized barrel, um, but I've been doing my hair curly pretty much every single day for the summer because my hair is naturally curly and if I straighten it, it just ends up curling anyways. Um, but I have been absolutely in love with this set. Now going on the same route as a curling iron, this is an old love of mine and I just um, rekindled this love. Um, this <laughs> curling iron and I have had a really rough relationship because I hated the way that it curled all of my hair, but because my hair is short, but I've been wearing my extensions, I've been trying to find a way to curl the front part of my hair back, like have it kind of like swoosh back. Um, so I re fell in love with this old curling iron from Revlon. And it's a very, very, very large barrel and it has a clip, ooh, and hair stuck in it. Um, but I love the clip because it really, really helps me curl my hair back and I've been loving using this to style my hair every day. Um, another favorite of mine that goes on the long, uh, along the lines of hair products is a relatively new product as well. If you watch my vlogs, you saw this at some point and I still cannot pronounce it, so I'm not even going to try, but it is a hair mask or a hair treatment. It says, a nutrition vitamin rich mask to improve the strength shine condition and happiness of your hair and scalp now I have severely dry scalp a severely dry scalp it's really really bad and really embarrassing sometimes so I've been using this and it's just transforming my hair I've only used it a couple times but I've already fallen in love with it and again it's from lush okay I think think that's all in my hair products. I'm trying to see like where to go with this. I guess we'll do the miscellaneous ones next. So I, um, again on my vlog channel, I'm going to mention it a lot because a lot of this is mentioned on my vlogs. But um, I was complaining about how my old makeup wipes really, really burned my face, especially around my eyes, like right here, really, really burned. And what I use makeup wipes mostly for was to get off my eye makeup. So it was just kind of I didn't like using them because they just really, really hurt me. So someone had recommended that I use Forever 21's wipe. So what I went there a couple days ago and I picked up um, two of them. I picked up a cucumber lemon one and I picked up a green tea jasmine one and I've been using them for a couple days. Now, side note, they're not super strong makeup wipes. I would use them more for um, just getting off your foundation or maybe like you have a little bit of mascara running or something, maybe even for touch-ups, but these aren't as strong as the ones that was burning my face off. Um, but they do work well and they don't burn at all. So I think I'm just gonna have to go in the water and rub my eyes and get most of the um, makeup off and then go in with these and take the remaining off because I have yet to find a makeup wipe that I can literally just go whoop and it'll come right off and not leave my face feeling like it's burning. Another miscellaneous, which this has nothing to do with beauty, but I've been loving, loving this candle from Bath & Body Works. It's called Beautiful Day. Um, I got it quite a while ago and I had burned it at first and loved it and then I forgot about it but that's how much I've burned so far um but oh my god it's just mm, if a beautiful day could be packaged into a candle holder this is what it would smell like it's just stunning it says bring a fragrance as beautiful as the perfect spring day into your home sun-kissed apple wild daisy and fresh pink peonies just gorgeous scent. I wish I had a lighter because I really want to burn this right now. <laughs> 
the miscellaneous it's a toothpaste which is totally totally random I know but I have been using this every single day so has my husband it's from Colgate and it's called um, with whitening max fresh with mini breath strips clean mint I just love the way this makes my mouth feel it just like makes my mouth feel clean does that make any sense and of course it helps with you know like morning breath and stuff but I really 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 been loving this toothpaste this month especially another miscellaneous is an old I think you saw this in the empties but I try to use this like there's a teeny tiny bit left that I can see and I'm going to use this I fell in love with this again because um, when I did my empties video I was like wow I haven't used this in a really really long time and I want to repurchase this. Now, you'll see my repurchase and my unfavorites, and you'll see, I'll explain that when I get to that, but I've loved this thing. Now, I have never had, like, really bad acne um, issues, you know, I'll have some here and there, like, especially this month for some reason, I have really, really been breaking out. I have no idea why. Maybe it's just the heat, sweating, I'm not sure, but I gotta do something about it. But I fell in love with this thing again simply because of the smell of it. It is a gorgeous, like, citrus scent. Ugh, but um, I don't love it again because it's like wow this really helps my with my acne it's more so it wakes me up in the morning and it just smells so flippin good mentioning how I've been breaking out all this month um, I have fell in love with this beauty again from clean and clear it's an ac uh, advantage acne spot treatment it's oil free I just twist off the cap and it has like a little dispenser that looks like that so I just dispense a little bit on my finger and just dab it on any uh, problem areas I have or any pimples and it just dries it out and within a couple days the pimple is totally gone so this has been a lifesaver for me like I said especially during this month because I have been breaking out like crazy and no idea why. Another miscellaneous is a and rash cream. And believe it or not, this is not for my daughter. This is for me because as most of you know, I got my first tattoo this month. Actually, was it this month? What Was it June? I think it was June. So that's my favorite. Hi. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, no, they recommend using an A&D uh, diaper rash cream or another type of cream to keep it hydrated. And my my um, uh, tattoo is in that awful, like, it's peeling off phase. So I've been applying this vigorously and trying to keep my uh, tattoo moisturized. And it's done the job, but it's going to peel no matter what. Um, so uh, I know a couple of you have been asking where my first tattoo is. Um, uh, video is but I want to wait for it to completely heal to tell you the entire process of getting a tattoo so that's what I'm waiting for is just for it to heal but this stuff is awesome for your tattoo All right, I think everything else actually no I have one more face product that I will show you guys and this is um, if you follow me on Instagram you saw the box of this but it's called Miriam International age defying night cream now this is expensive this is expensive it's like 80 bucks for this bottle now keep in mind I did not buy this but it was also not given to me by a company my friend works with this company and uh, uh, introduced me to the seminar again it was all shown on a blog um, but she brought me to like the sem seminar stuff that talked about the line now I can't personally afford this line every single month I think it'd be like 120 bucks every month for all three products I believe that's in like the line I think there's like a day cream a night cream some sort of other cream I don't know but I have the night cream and I've been using this every single night now if you've ever tried this it makes your face so tight like almost like Botox so do not put this on unless you're going to bed because it's kind of uncomfortable to have this on um, but I have seen um, some differences my face just feels a little bit tighter um, not like in a bad way just kind of pulling everything together and I um, asked for this specifically because of my fine lines like it's supposed to help fine lines especially on my forehead you can see them um, I worry a lot I have a lot of anxiety so that's why I have a lot of worry lines and I'm only 22 which really sucks but I wanted to use this entire bottle completely up to give you an honest review of it um, down the line that'll be a totally separate video but I do want to include this in this month's favorite because I've had it for about a month um, and I've been loving it Next favorite, um, some of them might be revisits from old favorites. I can't remember if I had this in a favorite or not, um, but it's Benefits High Beam, and I have not 
been using it as a highlighter like on my you know cheekbones or whatever I've been using it on my lips and I know that sounds super super weird but if you watched my no makeup makeup look you'll see what I'm talking about because I put on um, you know lip liner lipstick and then I take a little bit of this and dab it on the center of my lips and then on my cupid's bow and it just makes my lips look so much more plump so much more full and because it is a liquid and it's kind of like a paint or brush um, applicator it's really really easy just to like dab it on you know what I mean and it's liquid so it's easy to blend out versus a powder that might dry out your lips so I've been loving this to make my lips appear fuller now I know this is an old 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 product and a favorite of mine but I've been revisiting it especially this month to set my under eye concealer and I've been loving it again oh I just I love this they're seriously it's so dirty but there has to be something about this powder that just works because like um, my mom has been using this since she was a teenager my grandmother had used this as a teenager and it's still being sold in stores and still talked about so a product that has been on the market for you know what I want to say 60 years um, and still going strong they did something all right, another product from Lush, which is fairly new as well, is a lip scrub in the, um, I guess, flavor bubble gum. Um, but I mentioned why I got this is because if I'm doing makeup tutorials or, um, you know, I just want to put on lipstick and I want to look nice, my lips are always really, really dry, even if I put a lot of chapstick on. So when I went to Lush and got that hair mask, I saw this um, at the checkout and I wanted to give it a try. Now, I love this stuff. It is edible. So literally, the directions say... Um, scrub and buff your lips to softness, lick off the excess, then apply your favorite Lush lip balm. So they even tell you that you can lick it right off your lips and it won't be an issue. Now it doesn't taste like, mm, my god, like I could eat this with a spoon, but it's just kind of like, oh, that's not bad, you know what I mean? So I've been loving this though, it's been keeping my lips really, really soft, especially if I'm wearing red lipstick, my lips would always look really gross and really chapped. So I use this a couple times a week whenever I feel like I need it, and I've been loving it. I'm so hungry right now, my like, stomach just grow like you ever get so hungry that your stomach's like blah, blah, blah. Another one of my favorites is Brow This Way from Rimmel London. I picked this up at the drugstore because I had been using e.l.f.'s um, lash and brow gel for quite a while but I couldn't find it anywhere so I picked this one up. I love this one, it doesn't make my like brows feel crusty or hard or anything. It just sets the brows in place and they're not gonna move on me. So I've been really, really loving that one. And I have a favorite palette for this month and it's Too Faced The Return of Sexy Palette. And I did a whole review on this, like a first impression. Actually, did I ever? I don't know if I ever. Oh no, I didn't edit that video yet. You guys haven't seen that because I haven't done the first look that I wanted to do with it yet. Wow, I gotta get on that. Um, but I'll give you a quick overview. So I have been using the colors quite a bit, but you have more of the neutrals, you have like the plums, and then you have more of like the night smoky blue tones. <laughs> but I've been loving this palette. It's so pigmented and gorgeous. And to go along with this palette, another one of my favorites is Too Faced Shadow Insurance Anti- anti-crease eye shadow primer now this actually came with the palette but I've been using it whether I use the palette or not I love this it just keeps my eyeshadow on really crisp and really clean especially if I'm doing some crazy dramatic eye makeup look this has been able to keep my eyeshadows from cracking and getting all over the place narrowing it down I promise you guys my next favorite which is super dirty as well is this no-name contour palette that I got from Amazon literally it was just like recommendation from you this contouring palette now at first I thought it was a powder contour and when I got it I figured out that it's a cream that's really gross, isn't it? <laughs> I figured out that it's a cream contour palette and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't know how to use cream contour. And I learned from using this palette. So I ran out of this color first, which was like my go-to uh, cream contour color. It, it blended really nice, it looked really nice. And then when I ran out, I kind of had to start mixing in my own. And I still haven't gotten like the perfect contour shade, but close enough. But the only thing is like, I feel like from here, it just jumped to like wicked dark and even darker. Like no way I could use those two. Um, but this was like a perfect, um, like 
beigey gold color. I don't even know how to explain it, but this palette has to be in my favorites. Two more favorites and then we'll move on to the pin and the YouTuber. So I realized that I left the lip pencil in my diaper bag, which is in, with my sister-in-law and my daughter right now. But I've been loving the combination of Max Boldly Bare and then on top of it use NYX Butter Gloss in the color Tiramisu. That's what I have on my lips alone right now, but paired under uh, on top of Boldly Bare is just like a uh, nude heaven. And my last favorite for this month, which is also really dirty and I'm kind of... Oh no, I have another favorite. It's on my lap. I'm sorry. I have to, I have three more favorites. I'm so sorry. Um, is my Beauty Blender and I literally really just use this to do my makeup and that's why it's so dirty I don't I wash it quite a bit I promise I do but I had been holding off on getting the beauty blender for so long because I'm like can it really be that great it's just a makeup sponge for 20 bucks like I can think of a thousand other things I want to buy for 20 bucks instead of a makeup sponge but I went to Sephora not that long ago and I just had this itch to get it I was like all right I've heard enough about it I need to see for myself if it's really as good as um, it is and I did a whole video. Um, it's called worth the height beauty blender Just watch the video just watch it. I Will finish up with my beauty product, but I forgot a miscellaneous favorite So I'll save that one for my last favorites, but my missile uh, my beauty favorites are my new I am a little bit obsessed um, melted original and metal uh, lipsticks from Too Faced. I love these things and I've talked about these more than I can even count. Um, there are good things and bad things about them, but I have been absolutely loving the red colors recently. I have Ruby, Velvet, and Strawberry, and I've been loving rocking red lips this month. I have no idea why, not a clue, um, but I've been really, really, really going more for the reds than any of the other colors, but I do have quite a bit of a range of colors, and they're all gorgeous, um, but this month particularly, I've been rocking reds. Okay, last favorite um, before we go on to the pin and the YouTuber is supposed to be in the miscellaneous, but it's this leather jacket my husband actually got for me not too long ago. I think from maybe Charlotte Russe. It doesn't have a zipper or anything. It's a bit hard to show you. It doesn't have a zipper, um, so it just sits open. It does have um, pockets to shallow pockets on either side that are actually accessible. Um, but And then the sleeves have... Um, almost like the spandexy material under it. it says leather and then like the spandex material I've been loving this jacket for the longest longest time I love it I have a bunch of leather jackets that's the back I have a bunch of leather jackets oh oh, oh and it's asymmetrical as well it does go longer in the front and then come up higher in the back um, on those cold summer nights it hasn't really been like a hot hot summer especially at night there hasn't been a night where I can just walk out in this and be totally comfortable or even warm um, so that jacket has been absolutely perfect to bring with me everywhere and whenever I'm getting a little bit chilly I just throw it on and I feel totally comfortable now for my favorite pin this month I will of course put a picture up here for you guys um, but it says based based on how I react when I to <laughs> okay let's try this again based on how I react when toast pops out of the toaster I will never look cool walking away from an explosion and this pin I I have 4.7 K pins on my Pinterest um, and I always post under humor and stuff I love humor and that one really spoke to me because the other day I was like I was walking away from my car and I locked it behind me and I wasn't looking and I felt so cool like <laughs> but like I was so stupid because I get so scared whenever like I, I get really really jumpy with jack-in-the-boxes or toast popping out of a toaster oven so I was like yeah I would never be that cool because I'd probably poop my pants <laughs> Uh, moving on to my favorite YouTuber of the month, and I hope I'm not butchering her name, but it's like ca Casual Beauty, Casual Beauty, something like that. I don't even know her real name. I'm sure she said it a million times, but she's a fairly new so, um, new YouTuber that I've subscribed to. She's not a new YouTuber just, in my subscription. She's new. So she has just, she's like almost too pretty. It kind of pisses me off. No, I'm kidding. She is just stunningly gorgeous and she's so sweet. She has a British accent, which I want 
so bad. I wish I had, I wish I had an Australian accent, let me tell you right now. I just, I love everything about her. Um, and she, I actually got this idea of the pop of color in the tear duct um, from her, not even directly. Like she didn't do a video on it. I was, you know, I was, um, creeping on Instagram and I saw a picture of her she had more of a green tone um, but I thought it was gorgeous uh, a brilliant idea for the summer for a pop of color instead of the eyeliner or just like eyeshadow everywhere I just thought it was really really nice now moving on to my ooh, okay hello let me undress for this one <laughs> let me move on to my two unfavorites you guys already have seen this again if you follow me pretty much on everywhere you have seen these so these are the makeup wipes I was talking about that burn my freaking face off they are from equate in pink grapefruit oil clean oil free cleansing towelettes I can already smell like the chemicals I fished this out of my trash for you guys that's how much I hate this stuff and I feel like I've bought them before and did the exact same thing so I don't know what I was thinking when I got these I just hate them they just burn unfortunately they do take off my makeup really well but they just hurt me they hurt and my last unfavorite so when I mentioned that I got that um the uh, where is it uh, that's too far out of reach. The um, cleanser, the clean clear, the orange packaging I was just showing you guys. When I said I was going to repurchase that, I could not find that packaging anywhere. So I found this, which is from the same brand, clean and clear, and it said morning burst, facial cleanser. I hate this stuff. It is not the same thing. It smells like dish soap. Not even kidding. It literally smells like hand soap. Like if you went to, what are the brands for hand soap? Dawn, no, not even Dawn, that's a, no. Whatever, it smells like hand soap. Did it just get everywhere? Oh, that's just water. I, I pulled it out of my shower. I hate it. Dries out my skin so bad, but I don't have another facial cleanser, so I really, really, really have to get one because this is killing my face. So those are all my favorites, unfavorites, YouTuber, and pin for the month of June. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much stuff to show you guys, and I didn't even realize all the stuff I had to show you until I started pulling everything that I've been keeping in the back of my mind. Because like whenever I do my makeup, I'm like, okay, like I'm going to keep this out so I can put it in my favorites and whatnot so I don't forget anything but I didn't realize how many products I had this month and usually I don't have more than one and there goes my camera telling me to shut up so I'm gonna sign off with you guys if you enjoyed please leave a thumbs up you can also subscribe if you don't want to miss any new videos I put up two every single day I'm on Instagram and Twitter both as and I and until my next video I'll see you next time bye